Hey guys, what is going on? It's Old School Motto here in this video, and today we are going to be using FTP to give ourselves a custom avatar slash profile icon. Now, it's going to be pretty cool because uh, instead of having the plain boring one and not really a selection because we can't connect to PSN, um, or having you know the option of putting a custom one already, we can do this and um, we can have a custom one so it'll be custom uh, for this page your friends list I believe this page and the home screen when you log in and um, or maybe it's this one I'm not exactly entirely sure but we're going to edit the file that we want so I already have a picture of my uh, PS4 icon that I want it's actually my YouTube icon so let's go ahead and get started um, first thing you're gonna need to do is download in the description the sample files and you're going to edit them to how you want um you are only going to need this file right here the online.json file the other files are going to be your pictures so get the picture you want or the logo you want or whatever and copy it and paste it uh five times and name one to avatar one avatar 64 avatar 128 avatar 260 and avatar 440 these are the names and the sizes of the uh, pictures you need for the ps4 all around and this is the default one so this one's going to be a png file as you can see and the other ones are dds images so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to acconvert.com i found this post on psx hacks if i can find the post again i'll uh, link it to the description and pretty much what you do is you just click on uh, image and you're gonna choose a file and you're gonna choose your image file and once you choose your image file go to PNG click change image size to and type in the image size that you need um, for this one it is 440 by 440 so put in 440 uh, x 440 and then you're gonna click on convert now and it'll put it out here and you can click the little arrow and download it down here like that and then it'll download it and you have that file so after you've converted uh, your picture to the PNG and 440 by 440 make sure you convert all of the other th uh, four files to DDS and make sure that you set them to uh, the 64 to 288 by 288 the 128 to 288 by 288 the 260 to 288 by 288 and the 440 to 288 by 288 um, so that's what I got for uh, mine and it worked and in this online.json file you're gonna need notepad++ I'll have a link for that as well in the description go right here to online ID and type in your username that you're using so mine is online uh, or mine is I'm old school mods uh, I'm underscore old school mods. I'm not exactly sure if this really matters or anything because this uh, this is avatar URL and it says um, you know this website which isn't even up right now in 1.76 as well. But I'm not sure. This is just what I saw to do in the uh, tutorial post. So, anyways, close out of that and save it. And once you've done all that, highlight all these and leave them on standby. Um, or actually, you can close out of that and that. Go ahead and open FileZilla and open your PS4. You're going to need to go to Settings. Well, before we go to Settings, rename this first to what you want it to be. I'm going to have mine as I'm Old School Mods. So, there we go. I'm Old School Mods, Settings, User Guide, 5.05. .05, FTP. Okay, and I'm just going to leave it here. So now we've got this down here. Uh, this is for our IP. Okay, and it says right here uh, FTP. And it says 209.1337. So type in 10.0.0.209. And type in, in the port 1337. And there you go. So it's going to ask. Um, this server does not support FTP over DLS. If you continue your password, it's just letting you know your password is going to be sent clear over the internet. Um, that's 
fine because we're on our home internet and this is for PS4. It's not like much is going to happen right now anyways. So, um, if I do remember right, um, it was, I believe, uh, let's see, I'm not exactly sure which, um, directory it was in I think it was one of these cache profile these are your user profiles um okay it's not this but we were close that system data so let's try system ex. No. Okay, let's uh, Google real quick. Um, PS4 change avatar on 5.05. Okay, there we go, right there. Change avatar without PSN access. Okay, dark forms is where the post is. Um, error, I'm not logged in. Copy that link just in case. Okay. Alrighty. Now, okay, so this is what it's going to be like. Go to FTP. This is what this guy says to do. See, okay, um, I was wrong. The resolution has to be set to these. I don't know why the resol why what that says on my um highlighted thing, but these are the resolutions right here, and I'll have this link in the description as well. Um so because this is the exact post that I read and how I learned how to do it and this is where we go so system data private cache profile so I was in the right area uh, system data private cache profile right here and so he um, he puts all these over here in the users folder that he's doing it for so in this case um, we're going to go over here go to PS4 user icon and drag and drop all of them over here so they're all done transferring that's it we're good we can close out of that okay now on the PS4 go ahead and click the home button so now you you don't see it right here just yet but you will see it um, when you restart your PS4 or whatever so you can go ahead and restart your PS4 or log out whatever you want to do Okay, so as you can see, I did it for user 2 and not user 1, so I, uh, I missed, but you get it. So, okay, um, yeah, I, I clicked on the wrong user anyways, uh, but, okay, so that's how you do it, guys. As you can see, um, that was my user's profile icon right there. Um, it was changed to my YouTube logo and so it works all around everywhere um, you just have to uh, go ahead and switch it to the right profile if you if you put it in the wrong directory uh, you just do the right uh, directory and it'll work for sure and just to show you guys that I'll go ahead and redo it real quick since it only takes one second Go ahead and click on start. All right, so FTP is open. Alright, so now as you can see when I go back, uh, my logo is right there. And for it to show up right here on profile and on the main user, you do need to log out and log back in. Um, let's see if I can switch user. 
can know. Well, um, anyways, it does work as you can see. My profile icon has changed right there. So that's how you do that, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. If you like this video, please leave a like, and if it helped out, please uh, subscribe. I'll make more videos that are helpful like this on the PS4 and other things like that. Uh, if you need any extra help, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.